Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome to Jersey City Pilates. For today's class, you don't need any props and we are going to do a class inspired by my six month old baby because I'm envious of his flexibility and his strength and it's crazy, babies are nuts. So something maybe not completely different because this is still a Pilates class, but fun inspiration for this class. So to start, you're going to come onto your backs and just let yourself get there nice and slowly and have your legs bent underneath you. And then from here, just take your arms and make a little cactus arms. And then you're just going to reach them up overhead, slide your fingertips along the floor, finding a stretch and then bend your elbows and bring your hands all the way back down. And then lengthen your fingertips overhead. Trying to keep your back ribs down. And up, just opening through our chest to start. And up. And back down, last one, lift up. And lower all the way down. Good, bring your arms long by your sides and then you're just gonna float your right leg up into tabletop and your left leg up to meet it. From here, feel the weight of your legs down into your hips and then tuck the tailbone under. And then untuck the tailbone, find that neutral. And then tuck the tailbone and back in and tuck the tailbone under and neutral. Good, this time tuck the tailbone under, hold. Bend the knees in towards your chest. Curl the head, neck and shoulders up and then lower everything all the way down and then release your arms, come back to neutral. Curl the tailbone under, bring the knees in, curl the head, neck and shoulders up and then release. And now you're gonna do that all as one move. So round, curl everything in into a tiny ball and then lower down and round and curl everything up and then lower all the way down. Bring yourself back to neutral, grab onto your shins or knees and you're just going to rock back and forth from one side to the other, giving your sacrum a little massage here. Good. And then you're going to extend your right leg or whatever leg down and extend the other leg down. Bring your hands behind your head, curl the head, neck and shoulders up and lift. And then lower all the way back down. Curl the head, neck and shoulders up, lift. Legs are relaxed. Nothing is happening through the pelvis. You're only moving through your upper spine here. And curl it up and lift. And lower. And and lower. Last one. Pause here. And now you're just going to bring your right leg in and extend it all the way to the floor. And then bring it in and extend it to the floor. And bend it in and extend. This is one of my child's favorite things to do while getting his diaper changed and it makes snapping those PJs really difficult. Last one and extend good left leg bends in and extend keeping your head neck and shoulders lifted ribs are still drawing towards those hips <sighs> taking nice deep breaths hips are staying square on the floor two more and last one and then lower all the way down and then lower your torso all the way down reach the arms up overhead Bring the hands in line with your shoulders. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders up just like we were doing. Reach towards the toes. Keep the, or close the distance rather between the ribs and the hips. Legs stay down as best you can and round all the way over them. Shake your legs out if that feels good. And then grab onto your feet or your shins or ankles and lengthen your chest through your arms. And then round all the way down over your legs and lengthen and sit all the way up. Reach the arms long and then curl the tailbone under, roll all the way down one vertebra at a time, opening through the hips and then reach the arms up overhead. 
and then curl the head, neck, and shoulders up, ribs towards your hips, chin stays off of chest as you round forward, and then round all the way back, one vertebrae at a time. Really finding the rounding through your low back, press down, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up and reach, curl all the way over your legs. From here, you're gonna curl down one last time. And then bring your knees into your chest and then bring them nice and wide. And one more time, we're just gonna rock from one side to the other. Good, and then keeping your knees in line with your hips, feet in line with your knees. You're just gonna open your right leg out to the side and then bring it back in. And open your left leg out to the side and bring it back in. If you'd like, you can keep your arms straight up towards the ceiling and over to the left and back up. One more time to each side. Good, and then glue your legs together. Bring your hands into that cactus position or straight out to the side, your choice. And you're gonna let your legs fall over to the right and back to the center and over to the left and back to the center. Good, as you rotate over towards the right, feel that right or the opposite shoulder stay down and then feel the breath and engagement of the abdominal kind of yank you back to that center and over to the left. Two more to each side. And back, last one. Good. And then from here, you're gonna reach your hands up towards the ceiling, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up, bring the right leg in towards your chest, extend the left leg long, and then switch. And switch. Shoulders are off of the floor, chin is off of your chest, you're extending and reaching long through the leg as you pull the opposite leg in towards your chest gently. Abs are not pressing up towards the ceiling. Make sure you're breathing. Other option is just do this with your head lowered. For three, two, shoulders are relaxed. Last one, both legs in. Extend the arms and legs up towards the ceiling. Circle the hands around and touch your shins. Everything up towards the ceiling. Circle around and in. Up towards the ceiling, around and in. Four more. Three. Two. Keep reaching those ribs towards your hips. Last one, lift everything up. Hands come behind your head. Lower your legs just a few inches and bring them back up. Your knees can be bent as well to do this at any amount of bent. And back in. Three more. Two. Head is heavy in your hands. Last one. Good, and then lower all the way down. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give them a little hug. And then from here, drop your feet down and you're gonna roll over onto your right side. From here, you're gonna make a little pillow for your head. Elbow pointing forward, but your shoulder is nice and relaxed. And from here, you're just gonna extend, your, or you're gonna have both legs bent, more or less in line with your hip or slightly below that 90 degree angle with the knees. And then extend your top leg long. And you're gonna tap it down towards the floor and then lift it up. And you are gonna come below and above hip height. Or of course, you're going below but you may touch the floor, that's fine, and then you're coming above hip height, but you're not going so low or so high that you're hiking your hip or dipping your hip. You're keeping them nice and square. Keep pressing that bottom leg into the floor. Two more. And last one. Good, leave that leg extended and circle it around for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one and reverse for three, two, and last one, bend that leg in. Extend both legs long, 
they're at a diagonal in front of your hips and then you're extending your top or not your top your bottom arm you're placing that hand on the ground you're going to plant your left hand top arm on the floor you're going to lift both legs up you're going to lower both legs down you're going to lift both legs up and lower down you can also do this with bent knees and keeping your feet on the ground which is equally hard but different on the hip so do whichever feels better you can also just do this with one leg again two more like this and last one lower the legs down now we're going to extend the top arm overhead you're going to press into your right hand feel your shoulder connect feel the ear draw away from the shoulder and then you're going to press down lift up reach your arm towards your legs and then lower all the way down this is called banana Noah is very good at banana. And back down. And up. Four more. Really engaging through the hamstrings, through the glutes. You may be slightly off of your hip if that's more comfortable. As you come up, do what works for you. The last one. Hold. Bend the knees in and extend. Bend in and extend. Keep that shoulder out of your ear. Bend extend three more abs are drawn in you can place a hand down if you need for balance last one and extend and all the way down roll over onto your stomach and then you're going to bring your forearms in front of your shoulders your hands are as wide as your elbows so slightly wider than your shoulders you're just going to look down your chest is lifted off the ground and you're going to tuck the tailbone under, find that little lift of the abdominals. Press down into the forearms and find that beginning of your extension through the upper back. Relax the shoulders. Now, you're going to press your hands into the floor and you're going to peel your elbows and your forearms off the ground, reaching your chest forward through the arms. And then you're going to lower the elbows down. And then lift up. Maybe you're not really even getting much more height but you're changing how that extension feels through the upper back. For me, it's creeping all the way up into my upper back, which feels lovely and hard. Two more. Abs are lifted away from the floor gently, not in your low back. Last one. And then lower all the way down. Rest your forehead on your hands like a little pillow and then shake your hips out. And then from here, you're going to extend your left leg, left leg, left arm long, and you're just going to roll over. You're on your left arm now. You're going to bend your knees in, and you're going to bend your elbow. If you prefer to have that arm long, just keep it long. Extend your right leg long now, and then tap it down and lift. Again, whatever range of motion feels nice within your body's ability to keep those hips nice and square. Four more, three, two, and last one, pause and lift, circle for six, five, use that top arm to help keep you nice and stable, same with the bottom leg, two, and last one, in reverse, four, three, two, and last one. And then lower the leg all the way down and extend the left leg with it. So coming slightly back off your hip if you need. Legs are slightly angled towards that front corner or completely whatever works. And then you're just going to lift those bottom legs. The bottom legs lift both of your legs. They are on the bottom of your body. And if you'd like, you can already extend that left arm and lift. Your bottom leg is doing a little bit more weight, supporting that right leg, but your right outer hip is also still working. Three more. And then we're going to combine a few of these things. Two. Last one. Good. Lower all the way down. Reach that top arm overhead. Find the connection between your palm and the floor on that left arm. Pull in through the floor. And then you're going to lift up through the torso, lift up through the legs. Lower all the way back down. And up for five. 
four, three, two, and last one. Good, lower all the way down. Roll onto your stomach. So from here, we're gonna combine three of these exercises together. You're gonna start with your palms out in front of you and you're gonna find that nice extension. We're gonna take our time, but we're gonna kind of flow from one thing to the other. You're gonna lift up into that supported position. You're gonna roll over as you lower down onto your left side. Right arm comes right overhead. You're gonna lift, whoop, lift up into your banana, bend those knees in, extend the legs, lower all the way down, and then roll onto your stomach. Slide your hands into whatever position you need here. Lengthen into that extension. Lower down, right arm long, roll over to the right side. Left arm comes overhead into your banana. Lower down, lift up, bend the knees in, and extend, and lower all the way down. Roll back to the center, pull the hands in, lengthen. So we're adding the extra balance here. Coming into your banana, bend the knees, extend the legs, lowering all the way back down. Moving here with control. Finding that length, lower down, extend the right arm. I don't know, flailing around the ground is generally very fun to me. So I hope you're whoop, also enjoying this. Arms in, last one to each side, over to the left first. Knees in and extend and down. The rolling with control is challenging. Lift up into that extension. Last time here. Over to the right side. Lift your banana. Bend the knees. Extend the legs. Lower down gently. Come to the center. Bend the elbows and press up into your last little modified baby swan. Lower all the way down. Bring your hands and make a little pillow for your forehead and shake yourself out. And then press yourself up and back into a child's pose. One more breath here. Good, and then come forward into all fours. You're gonna have your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. You are not putting your hands on top of, or underneath your knees. That feels slightly unpleasant in this uh, position. So find that length from the crown of your head to the tailbone, and then find the length in that connection as you round your spine up towards the ceiling, draw your hips up towards your ribs, and then uncurl as you find length. And then round your spine all the way back up. And find length through the front of your body. A little more extension. It should feel maybe really easy to find that extension now after all that work we just did, rather than if you were to have done this right before class. And last one. Round all the way up. And find your neutral. You're going to tuck your toes under. Hands are still underneath your shoulders. Walk your knees in just a tiny bit if you need. And then reach back through the heels. Take a big inhale. And on your exhale, lift those knees off the ground into a hover. And then lower all the way back down. Inhale. And then exhale, lift. And then lower back down. Last time, inhale. Exhale, lift. And this time we're going to hold. So you're going to reach your heels back, butt back towards your heels. And then come forward. And then reach it back and forward and back and forward like your baby wants to crawl and forward and forward feeling that connection of your abs every time you come forward we have four more three neck is long two and last one forward lower the knees down untuck the feet curl the tailbone under 
And then curl the tailbone under, or rather, find extension. And then come back to your neutral. Curl the toes under one more time. You're gonna lift up into your little bear pose here, and you're gonna bring your right hand, left leg, and then bring it back, and then opposite side, and bring it back, and to the right. Left, I'm saying hand, not the foot. Once more to each side. One more right, and back. Last one, left, and back. Take a big inhale, and lower all the way down. Sit back onto your heels, and then round yourself all the way up. And then just circle out your shoulders for a second. And then we're gonna come back into all fours one more time. But this time, you're gonna bring your hands slightly in front of your shoulders. And then you're gonna sit back into a child's pose. Take a nice breath here. And then you're gonna come forward and find yourself in a little modified plank. Scoot your legs back, adjust as you need. We're gonna come in and out of child's pose and a modified plank. Back and forward. Four more, and then there's an option to progress. Three. Two. We will roll our wrists out after this. Last one, hold here. You can either stay here or come into a full push-up. We're gonna come down into a push-up, press up, and then come back into our child's pose, and then come forward, push up, and back. If you're doing this on your feet, you are doing that full push-up too, and then you're coming into a down dog, or you're just sending your hips back towards your heels. And lift, and back. You can also combine them with your knees down, and then come into the down dog, or your knees down, and then that modified child's pose. Three more. Two. Whatever works for you, head is not lowering below the rest of your body, tailbone is tucked under. Last one. And then everyone can come all the way back into a nice child's pose. Lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Take a big inhale and exhale. Let it go. From here, you're gonna come all the way to the top of your mat. Make sure you have plenty of space behind you. And we will do some rolling like a ball. So you have a few options. I'll face forward to start. So you can either be externally rotated through the legs and that seal. So you have a few options here. You can either be externally rotated and hold on to your ankles like this, or you can bring your knees all the way together and hold on like this, or if you prefer, you can hold on to the knees instead of the ankles. So whatever position you choose, whatever works for you. Good, so find a little, with your feet on the ground, in your little rounded position. You wanna round through the upper back, and we will round through the low back, but we're not there yet. Find a little connection, feel the heels pull back and the hamstrings engage. And then think that you pull them back so far that they float up off the floor, but those hamstrings are working. From here, you're gonna try to find space in the front of your pelvis, which may start to round through the low back and give you a little bit of space between your legs and your torso. And then you're gonna keep doing that so much that you round back. And then on your exhale, you just pop all the way back up. And then inhale. Exhale, as you roll back and forward. Trying to keep those heels close to your butt. You're, you are in a tiny little ball, but you don't want your legs to come away from your body or squeeze in as you go either. If you find you're not rocking in a nice straight line, recenter yourself, pause at the top, take that inhale, 
On your exhale, try to find that little extra space. The tuck of the pelvis of the sacrum gently rolls on the ground. We're gonna do two more at your own pace. Last one. And then pause here. Holding onto your legs. I'm gonna hold on to my outer calves. I'm gonna extend my legs long. And I'm gonna hold here. Relax your shoulders. And then try to release your arms. And then you're gonna roll all the way down one vertebrae at a time. And then grab onto the outside edges of your feet for happy baby. Like you would do in yoga. You can do this holding on to your outer legs. You can wrap your arms around like this. Whatever you're doing, think about sending your tailbone into the floor. And take a breath or two here. And then bring your legs together. And then roll yourself all the way over to one side. And then press yourself up. You're going to sit with your legs out in front of you. You're just going to reach your arms out to the side and then side bend up and over to whatever side you prefer to do first. Letting your legs relax here. If you prefer to have them out straight, that's fine. And then come all the way up and then slowly side bend over to the opposite side. Really thinking about pressing into the floor, reaching long through the top arm and finding space through all those ribs. One more time to each side. And up, last one. And then come all the way up. Bring your feet planted onto the ground, round forward over your legs. And then slowly peel yourself all the way up. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Externally rotate through the arms. Press all the way down. Take a big inhale. And exhale, let your arms fall to your sides. And you are all finished. Thanks.